Now that we've finalized our design and we have an output that we're comfortable with, what you're probably going to want to do is upload your files now to your web server and host them online. And there are a few quick and simple steps to do this. Before we begin, uh, what I want to ensure is that all your asset files that you've included in your output, you want to make sure that what you do is you actually copy them to your HTML5 folder just to keep them in a relative path to your actual PSD output itself. The next step is once we have our actual asset files included, you'll note that our file structure is based on our actual PSD file name. Now for hosting this online, we're probably going to want to use an index file rather than a PSD to HTML5 uh, just to actually keep our, our web path correct. And you'll also note that we have a separate skins folder which is outside of our HTML5 folder. So we're probably going to want to keep that in a relative path as well. So let's go ahead and let's do this. The first step that you want to do is you want to make note of your actual FTML folder path. So what we can do is just copy this beforehand. The next step is to basically open up Dreamweaver. What we want to do in Dreamweaver is create a new Dreamweaver site. Now this can be anything. Let's call it PSD to HTML. And what we want to do is make sure that the local site folder is our actual FTML folder. So you can either navigate to this or you can actually just copy the path. So let's go ahead and let's open this. You'll see that in our actual files tab that we have all our files relative to our actual uh, project. So we can go ahead and we can take a look at the actual HTML really quick. There are a few steps that we're going to need to do just to actually copy this over and ensure that it's a server related file structure so it has a proper index file and all the images are relative to the index path. So what we're going to do, let's just uh, close this off. The first step is we're going to actually rename our PSD to HTML5 file or any actual index file that you have. Um, well, I should actually say the name of your document to index. So that's step one. You'll note that what Dreamweaver will do is update all the links that correspond with this file. So now this file is actually updated to reflect index. The next step that we want to do, and let's just close this off, you always want to make sure you close your files. If you keep them open, it might not update correctly. The next step is we basically just want to drag our skin folders into our HTML5 folder. What this will do, and again Dreamweaver will update all the paths, this will make all your skins relative to your index file. Now if we go ahead and we actually open this now, and let's just open the actual folder. Now you'll see that our folder structure now our skins is actually related to our actual HTML5 folder and we have our index file. So let's go ahead, let's load our index file and you'll see that now all the file structure is based on an actual server folder structure. So you'll see that we have our corresponding pages about us, contact. Let's see, our Google Maps is working because we included it in our actual HTML content. Uh, this was our custom head. And you'll see that all the links now actually reference the index page rather than PSD to HTML5. So you'll see that if you use Dreamweaver, you can easily modify your files so that they're server ready and they can just be dropped on your actual online host in a couple of minutes.